Okay. I'm going to call the City Commission first budget hearing. It's the musical version to order. <laughs> And welcome you all to our Arts and Cultural Center tonight, September 13th, 2022. Can I please ask the city clerk to call the roll? Mayor Weissman? Here. Vice Mayor Landman? Here. Commissioner Friedland is absent. Commissioner Joel? Here. Commissioner Dr. Marks? Here. Commissioner Narofsky? Present. Commissioner Shelley is absent. Mr. Wasson? Here. And Mr. Myers? Here. You have a quorum. Thank you so much. Let me ask our two guests. Commissioner Sally Heyman and Representative Joe Geller to please lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Item number three, public hearings ordinance. It's the first reading of the 22-23 budget. I'm going to request that the city clerk read the first ordinance, item 3A. An ordinance of the city of Aventura, Florida, establishing and adopting the city of Aventura ad valorem tax operating millage levy rate at 1.7261 mills per thousand dollars of taxable assessed property value which as a percent change of rollback rate of 1.5758 mills is 9.54% above the rollback rate computed pursuant to state law for the 2022 tax year, providing for conflicts, providing for severability, and providing for an effective date. Can I please have a motion for approval of the ordinance made by Vice Mayor Landman, seconded by Commissioner Dr. Linda Marks. I'm gonna request that the city manager review the item. Thank you, Mayor. This, this first item is uh, the city is recommending approval of a millage rate where we set the millage rate at um, 1.7261, which I believe is the 28th year we've had this millage rate. And uh, it uh, provides, uh, eight, it generates $18,641,832 in revenue on an assessed value of 11 billion. $368,391,539. Do any of the commissioners have any questions or comments about the budget? And I will say to the audience, we thoroughly workshopped, I think, every line of the budget. Um, but Commissioner Narotsky. Uh You'll tell me if it's appropriate now. My understanding was we're addressing item A. Is it appropriate to address item B, which is the budget? Is it whatever the, I don't know yeah, the rules. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So my one um, issue, and uh, I spoke to the city well, manager. Really. No, no I have to get B approved. Okay. So okay. I'm, I'm I good don't with want a. the attorney and the city clerk uh, saying we didn't do that appropriately. Anyone from the commission? 3A is what we're talking about. Any questions, comments? 3A. Do I have anybody on TV wrong? No. No. Okay. All right. Um, then I'm going to open the budget to public comment. Anyone from the public wish to address the commission? Seeing as there's none, I'm going to close the item for public comment, and I'm going to ask the clerk for a roll call vote. Commissioner Joel? Yes. Commissioner Dr. Marks? Yes. Commissioner Narotsky? Yes. Vice Mayor Landman? Yes. And Mayor Weissman? Yes. Commissioner Friedland, Commissioner Shelley are absent. The motion passes. Thank you so much. The next item is item 3B. I'm going to request that the city clerk read the item. An ordinance of the city of Aventura, Florida, adopting the attached tentative operating and capital budget as reviewed and approved by the city commission at the review meeting held on July 21, 2022, as the city of Aventura final budget for the 2022-2023 fiscal year pursuant to section 4.05 of the city charter, authorizing expenditure of funds established by the budget, providing for budgetary control, providing for personnel authorization, providing for gifts and grants, providing for amendments, providing for procedures regarding encumbrances and the reappropriation of unexpended capital appropriations, establishing the committed fund balance for capital reserve, providing for severability and providing for an effective date. Thank you. Can I have a motion for approval of the ordinance made by Commissioner Joel, seconded by Commissioner Marks? I'm going to once again request that the city manager review the item. 
Thank you, Mayor. In July 21st this year, the workshop, as the Mayor referred to, we was held where we reviewed the budget. Uh, in this budget, there was uh, some adjustments that were made on recommendations from the Commission, and those are reflected in the budget. It does not alter any way the original amount in the budget of the $18,641,832 of revenue. Some of the positive um, factors that we saw this year was property values did go up in Aventura, which was uh, a good change from the, the prior couple of years. We saw new construction also come on the books, which in the last few years was very, was very flat. And we're starting to see, now that the pandemic is getting towards the, we're coming out of it, our revenues are starting to rebound to where they were prior to the pandemic. Um, some of the other highlights, uh, this budget maintains all operations and program in the city, which is always our, our, main, uh, our main goal. Uh, so all our normal uh, schedule events like Founders Day, Veterans Day, our bike rides, our movie nights, our Halloween, our July 4th uh, celebrations are all going to be in there. Um, we're adding new pickleball and tennis courts uh, to, the, to, our, uh, to our repertoire hopefully very soon. Other part of this budget is dedicated to safety, making sure that Aventura continues to be one of the safest cities in Florida or certainly in Miami-Dade County and by a police department. Um, this budget reflects uh, adequate funding for them. Our infrastructure, which is one of the critical areas that are very important to the city, that's our maintain and rebuild our roadways, our storm drain and seawalls are all being maintained and enhanced. Uh, we're installing gutters throughout the city, which helps with drainage and gets the water off the street. You'll see that on this year on 199th Street and 183rd Street. Our landscaping, which is very another cre a, a key issue for our key thing in Aventura, uh, that is all being maintained, and we're replacing all equipment as as needed. So it's not on a regular schedule, but as we need it. Uh, this 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 accounts for personal services, and I will draw your attention to one item, and it's capital outlay where we do spend money on infrastructure repair. When I first started here four years ago, that number was a little bit higher, but as we do in Aventura, we're very conservative in our budget practices and our financial management. We never know what, how much money we're going to put into the capital improvement plan. We back into that after we make sure that we can pay for everything and every, all the expenses are taken care of. Whatever's left over, that's what we put into capital, uh, our capital improvement plan. When I started here, it was around, I think, 1.7. It dipped down below a million. This year, it's $1,226,000 from the general fund. Our contracted services are all provided for. That's landscaping, janitorial services, our building department, uh, CAP program, our AC maintenance, our legal department, our on-demand service and bus service, and engineering department. Uh, we also have to account for this year, you see, you'll, if you notice in the budget, there is a, a good increase for fuel. It seems that uh, we had to make an adjustment for that, so we had to add, had to add about $155,000 for that line. Our debt service has remained steady. Uh, Aventura has a very low uh, debt service for a city this size and for, uh, for, this, for this size city, and it continues to go down. As, as this money comes off, it's just in another way we can lower lower our uh, expenses. Uh, lastly, I'll talk about our stormwater. Uh, we're very fortunate to have a, a very proactive um, repair uh, maintenance system with our stormwater. Uh, since, since the last few years, we've spent a lot of money on it. And with the recent influx of uh, funding and grant funding, the city has been able to secure millions of dollars in funding to advance where we would where we would take maybe 10 years to get to we're getting to them a lot quicker now and uh, it's going to help drainage we just applied for a grant today for four million dollars to do uh, a street over to elevate it and it would really be it's one of the streets that really uh, 191st street which is problematic for us as far as flooding and that's my budget overview. Okay, thank you. And I know Commissioner Narotsky wanted to talk on item B. Um, yeah, first of all, um, as I've said in the past, kudos to the city manager for an amazing job. And I know it's not easy and 
um, going through everything with seven people also. Um, but I would like to point out that um, there is, I think, $30,000 allocated to a holiday ceremony. Is that uh, correct? Um, last year, it kind of came up late, but I had forgot to put it in my notes to provide for a holiday lighting or a menorah lighting ceremony, not ceremony, but a celebration around the holidays. It's, it's budgeted in there for, for, for that amount, and it would be a something we would do as part of our regular program, like Founders Day, that we would do something at, the, at that time of the year. So again, uh, just want to uh, offer my objection. I don't think that it's essential government service. I yeah. think that we have a tendency, we're becoming a lot of a leaky bucket here. There's more and more things that are not what we do best. The city did best, started in 95, minimal government, low taxes, low services. And I think that we have a tendency, we're just growing, growing, growing all these events. It's gonna maybe be attended by one to 5% of the population, and yet we're using people's tax dollars to do something. Um, so I just wanted to uh, offer my objection on the record to that, but otherwise um, an exemplary job and I'm grateful for it, thanks. Any other commissioners have any comments on the item? Okay, I'm going to ask the public if the public would like to address the commission. Seeing as there's no one, I'm going to close the item for public comment, and I'm going to ask the city clerk for a roll call vote. Commissioner Joel? Yes. Commissioner Dr. Marks? Yes. Commissioner Narotsky? Yes. Vice Mayor Landman? Yes. And Mayor Weissman? Yes. Commissioner Friedland and Commissioner Shelley are absent. The motion passes. Thank you so much. Can I please ask for a motion to adjourn the budget committee hearing? Yes. Made by Commissioner Narotsky, second by Vice Mayor Lamon. The meeting, the budget hearing meeting is adjourned. <laughs>